Welcome back everybody. All these things here have to get cut off. I'm just going to try to fold them in, create a crack, and then use this bit here, that blade, that's a carbide blade or a bimetal blade, to buzz through this lath. <laughs> Woo. Oh yeah! So in just about every video, I have someone ask me what this tool is. Say, is that a drill? I got myself a drill, but it doesn't make that noise. This is an impact driver. It's only meant for installing screws, small bolts, not for drilling. So I am going to be filling this hole. Woo. I am going to be filling this hole with drywall. It is not crucial that it looks good or that it's level. It's going to be screwed to the back wall and go up to the ceiling. Um, 16 inches out from the wall is how far the cabinets come. So that's like right about here. So just this sliver here, I'm going to have to replace one, two boards. This one doesn't even need to be here. Over like that, that's all you're going to see. But I want to get it close. Um, but I'm not going to spend too much time trying to get this perfect. Uh, what I'm doing here is continuing the ceiling height across and now I got to put up my blocking and that blocking needs to be uh, a half inch above where this level is. When I screw the drywall up it'll be flush with this surface and then I can easily glue my furring strips on to support the tongue and groove wood. So I want to point something out that's very common on older houses, and that is flat studs. It means they go this way. You see this in closets and bathrooms that separate the tub wall from closet walls. They'll have them normal way, and then they'll switch to that way, and they'll switch to that way. So what I got to do is put some backing here so that I can have drywall go into here, 
and come right across and get screwed into here. I'll uh, put some backing right here. There'll be a board that overlaps this. Keep in mind, it'll, be, it'll look something just like this. The cabinet, what did I say? Comes out about 15 inches. That, that should be right around here and yeah, right about there. So only a few inches of this will be showing. It'll be fastened here and here and nothing over here. Just be kind of out there dangling in there. And when I come across here, this one will go in there. I'll uh, do a glue joint or tape joint, something over here, but it's not very crucial. So this wall kind of goes all over the place, kind of dives back at the top. So there may be some shimming up here. Um, I don't, don't really want to do shaving, but I might have to do that. What, most likely what I'll do is just get the drywall up there, get it all mudded in and everything. And then when I install this upper and this lower, there's a chance that I may have to shim this cabinet to match this cabinet to get the faces uh, all lined up. That is pretty normal when installing kitchen cabinets. This lined up real nice. This is gonna get a shave job. <laughs> uh, so I'll just take my knife and kind of bevel this. You can see how there's a little bit of a lip there. This is where the chimney went in and there was corner bead that wrapped around here. So there's a buildup of joint compound. And of course you can see the skip trowel texture. That's what we call it in these parts. Your parts, you might call it Spanish mackerel. This'll, this'll level out real nice. Keep in mind the cabinet's coming to right about here. This is the only part that's gonna be visible. Actually, it's gonna be like here, if you can include the door. Well, 25 inches is what I need. That is this line here to the other side. And as you can see, I've got a lot of cleanup to do. I mean, it's gonna get covered up. It doesn't really matter, but I'm uh, gonna waste some money right here and get this all chiseled out and probably make it 24 and 3 quarters. You can tell I'm trying to keep the dust down to a minimum. I'm not just buzzing through here. I know a lot of guys say use the, uh, the grout removal bit for this, for cutting through plaster. Uh, I've tried that and it just makes a ton of dust. Uh, so this is a Milwaukee carbide says 50x on the package like it's gonna last 50 times longer it, uh, it doesn't though a lot of you guys probably saw that as you can see there is OSB on top of the old plywood this OSB is about 3 eighths of an inch 
So all this lath here, that's, or whatever you want to call it, chicken wire, <laughs> the drywall is going to go over the top of that and probably butt in right there. So I'm just going to clean this up with just a hair so I don't have a, a ridge there. I'm going to put my beveled edge of the drywall right here. Piece of cake. Answer solved. Thanks for your help. Okay, it's the first attempt at fitting. I always go for a real tight fit. Uh, so there's a good chance I got to take this back outside and rasp it to get it to fit in there. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Holy Jesus. The only thing I'm hung up on is, a, is that dang thing right there. It looks like it's uh, my fit. Let's see if we're gonna get it off. So I got one of these boards just a hair long, but I think I can scooch it in. I better get ready to screw. Pop it out, tight to the ceiling, and flexy, flex it over. Oh yeah! <clears throat> That's the end of today's video. Stay tuned to the next video where I install the new wood planking on the ceiling to cover up the hole where the chimney was. Now I'll also be matching that Spanish mackerel texture. I think they call it that down in uh, Texas and maybe over in Arizona or something like that. It's the Spanish mackerel. As you can tell, I'm not in the workshop, haven't been in the workshop for going on almost two months now. I should be getting back to work here in another couple weeks. Uh, but this this is where I live. I live out of this. I'll give you a quick tour. The full tour will be over on the Super Secret Third YouTube channel. Here's the bed of the truck. Sleep over there. Got lots of storage underneath here. Clothes, food, all sorts of stuff. I got my big cooler, diesel heater, diesel for the diesel heater. This is my office. It's where I'll be editing videos in the middle of the day. And uh, yeah. This is about it, living the dream underneath a pine tree.